So I'm seeing that there's some type of imbalance with a parent-child relationship. This could be with your child or with your parent. It feels like a type of energy that there needs to be, you're turning a blind eye to something going on. This could be the way that whether it's the parent treating you a certain way or whether that's, you know, you treating, treating the child a certain way. I'm looking at it also causing big imbalances in the heart chakra. It's being highlighted. There's something to bring in the balance. I'm looking also at another child. So maybe this is like one, one child is favored over another one. I'm also feeling a type of movement. There's a type of movement with, with, with a, a child in your life. Whether this is like a child moving away from you, that's yeah, a child moving away from you. So whatever's going on with the parent child, this is like the type of energy where whatever's going on in the relationship, something needs to change because it's pushing you two apart. I'm seeing a divergence take place a crack, a fissure. I'm seeing that it only grows stronger the more you turn a blind eye to it. Something, this needs to be brought into balance. I'm looking at the number six, it speaks on the mother. And I'm looking at the number four, which speaks on stability. So there's some type of stability that needs to be brought with a, a mother-child or a father-child relationship that you're going through. I'm seeing you look back at missed opportunities. This is like you looking back at the past, realizing I should have went this way, I should have went that way. That's a waste of your energy and your time. Focusing any energy and time on the past is a waste of your energy. It keeps you stuck in loops and cycles and repeating patterns. Looking at you working on something, working on a project, working on building something, working on building a home life. Maybe things have been out of balance for you for a little while and what you're seeking is a, a emotional stability, uh, searching for that sense of, of having a family unit, a single cohesive family unit. I'm also looking at the number six that's popping right out on the current timeline. I'm looking at whatever it is that you were building with a partner, whatever that is. I'm looking at it's going to be ending soon. I'm looking at the number five, which speaks on loss and conflict. So whatever you're trying to build, that's going to be ending soon. You're going to be turning a different direction. And this, this situation is going to lead to emotional fulfillment. You're getting control of emotions or this is your 3D space that's being affected by their negative emotions. I got you. I'm looking at, at counterpart energy coming up for you in the near future. This is like a, a deep, deeper connection, a, a stronger relationship than you've had in the previous past. That's going to be the outcome of, of the loss of the number five with the partnership that you're in now or with whatever situation you've been in in the past. It's going to be coming to an end. Now I'm looking at the number three, which speaks on the child. I'm looking at it like this feels like a, a, like a single parent type energy, like you and the child leaving or I'm seeing a, a child, a parent and child walking off from, a, from a, a situation. I'm looking at the the chariot coming in in the near future. So there's a move that's getting ready to take place. This is something you've got guidance on, something you've got a heads up on. This is coming in upside down. So you're not refusing a spiritual gift. You know things need to change and we need to, to 
lay the foundation and the groundwork to bring about this change. I'm looking at right now, things are very out of balance for you. And again, as we're tying up the year and as we head into winter, this encourages us to tie up all the loose ends going on in our life because we're prepping for a hermit mode. We're prepping to go within. This change, I can feel it's going to bring about great change in your, in your life. This is almost like <clears throat> you coming out on the other side, a different person, it feels like. This is what's necessary to take place for you to become the phoenix. You must go into the fire. I'm also looking at, at you ascending, right? They're ascending up. All right. So it feels like it was going to turn into a tower moment, but then you flipped it. All right. And you turned a negative into a positive. There's also other relationships that you need to walk away from. Something that's 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 keeping you held back, keeping you stuck in place. I'm looking at Yeah. So you're missing out on the full energy by holding on to the past. Alright? No new no people from the past comes back into your life. We need to live completely in the present moment going forward. And when people from the past pop up, you need to break off away from them, set boundaries with them. I'm also looking at the number zero in the full card. That's you know, the number for spirit. So it feels like um, there's a spiritual evolution that's that's needed and that's waiting for you to take place when you make these decisions to, to change your life. I'm looking, is this something that you know about? So this is confirmation to, to, to hit the gas and start moving in that direction. Because again, as we make choices on the path, the paths diverge. You have different choices to make. New opportunities pop up. Other doors that were locked are now open. I'm seeing that this is definitely something that you need to look at in a positive light in an expansive energy and it's coming in upside down. So maybe you're looking at it from, from a place of lack, a place of loss. I'm looking at hopeless. I'm feeling hopeless. So maybe you feel like you don't know how to do this. Yeah, I got you. I'm looking at there's some guidance that you could be getting through this situation, but you're not t you're not using that guidance. You're not going within, All right? So make sure that you're checking in with yourself, checking in with your higher self to make sure that you are going in the right direction. It's very easy to get lost along the way. It's very easy to go in the wrong direction because you're wanting something. There's something specifically that you're wanting and you're not going to find it unless you make decisions. All right, the next chapter of your life is going to be a bit stormy, a bit rocky. All right, at this time in your life, divination is needed. We need to get in touch with our higher self, with our guides, with the universe and getting guidance through these times that you're heading into. Because it feels like um, uncertainty. Maybe you don't know like what the outcome would be or you can't see the outcome right now. It feels like it's being shaded from you. Some things we can know, other things we cannot know. I'm looking at a major imbalance in the family sector. There's other people around you that are sending you negative energy just by the attachment that you have. You need to make sure and break away from these energies and diverge. Take all the negative people that are around you and replace them with positive people. All right. All right. Listen, I'm going to end your reading there. If you guys like the reading and you guys want to get a full reading, just shoot me a message. Um, thank you guys very much. Enjoy your immortality.